Welcome to this series. In this video, we will see how we can store the Terraform state in Azure Storage. For this purpose, we will use Azure Storage to store remote Terraform state and we will understand state locking. But let me show what is the Terraform state. Whenever we run the Terraform apply command, it creates the TF state file. If you see, this is the JSON file. But what is the meaning of this JSON file? Actually, Terraform works by processing a set of declaration in manifest files and producing a JSON representation of the desired state of your environment. Here you can see a JSON format having different kind of labels and different kind of values. It stores the data in a single file with the TF state. So actually it is store the data inside this TF state file. If my team get bigger, then many of users can create the resources using this Terraform files. So I need to make sure if I am running the command Terraform apply and concurrently if another user from another location is trying to run the same command for provided files, then system should prevent him to apply the changes and should show the error message regarding the ongoing processing. Data error message can represent reason why your process is failed because someone is using the Terraform apply command. That is my purpose. So to achieve this, we should have the location where I can put this Terraform state file. So let me create the resources. I am going to create the resources with this name. I can use the Cloud Shell. Here I can paste the commands. So now it's generating the storage account. Here you can see group has been created. Now it's running the command as a storage account. Account also has been created and after that a container has been created. So let's see if I go to the resources. Here I can see TF state. If I click on that, I can see the storage account. And inside the storage account, I have container. So you can see the container. Currently container is empty. Now we need to configure the backend state. Backend state means how the Terraform can access. And this account key will be used to create the environment variable ARM access key. This environment variable will be used by the Terraform to access the storage account. To configure the backend state, you need the following Azure storage information. We need the Azure account name and we need the container name. We need a key that is actually the name of the state store file to be created. To get the access key, this is the command. We need to pass the resource group name that we recently created and the storage account name. This account key we need to assign to the ARM access key. So that is actually the environment variable that will be stored inside the base file. Let me run this command. That variable has been generated. Terraform will use this variable to access the storage account. Now we are see the code. We are using the provider Azure and resource name that we had created. A storage account name, you can take it from here. This is the name that we can use. This is the container name and key that I mentioned we will create the key file. So that is the key file that will be created. Terraform always create this file and variables we don't have anything only just we provider we have and we are just creating the resource. So let's do one thing. Let's use the Terraform init command. Here I can use the terminal. Terraform init. It's just initialized. 
successfully configured okay so here you can see the plugin has been downloaded now run the command terraform apply so once you run this command let's see what happened it's creating the resource based on this file the resource with the state demo name would be created using this command enter the value is just asking me to verify this resource would be created i can say yes okay let's see inside the azure refresh yes so this state has been created but now what we need to check we need to check the storage account here inside the storage account the containers you can see the file inside the container so this is the file that you are talking about here if you click on this file here you need to notice lease state is unlocked and lease state is available so currently this state file has been created question is here if someone from my team run the command on the same time what would happen in this case lease status would be logged and the state would be leased means he cannot interfere with the program what we have initiated using the terraform apply command once the terraform apply command complete you can see the status would be unlocked and lease state is available so that is the locking state here azure storage blobs automatically logged before any operations that write state this pattern prevents concurrent state operations which can cause corruption so that is the state locking that you need to understand that would be helpful for you when you work together in a team and if i run the command again then run the command terraform apply again it will say no changes is your infrastructure matches the configuration and here you can see zero added zero changed zero destroyed so that is the tf state files how you can utilize the storage account to maintain the state if you have any question you can ask that's all in this video i will see you soon in the next video till then happy learning